Hello, my name is Dan Thompson and I am the media producer for Image Video Services and Productions, also known as IVS. Welcome to this video tutorial titled, Adding Documents and Video to Your IVS Website. This video is number 3.5 in our series titled, Editing Your IVS Designed Website. Documents are important. Documents allow us to leave a brochure with somebody. It allows us to leave information with a client, uh, to add a form to our website, it's something we want to be able to do. So how do we do it? The first thing we do is call our website up and then of course let's go back to CK Editor and we will open up CK Editor and we will establish a spot for us to download a document. So I'm going to make this stand out by typing in download my brochure and then I'm going to save that. Now I need a brochure to download. So where's that going to happen? We're going to go to our login page. This will look very familiar to you by now. I've already logged into it and I've also uploaded some files and we've looked at that in uh, previous videos. The file that I'm interested in is wedding.pdf. Now after a time our websites will get big and this will become very very full. So I like to start uh, organizing it and we'll do that by creating a folder and we will type that folder document. Actually, we're just going to call it docs, keep it short. And we'll be doing video as well. So we'll create another folder and we'll call it video. You'll see what I'm doing here. But I'm going to take my document, which is wedding PDF. I'm going to put it in by just dragging it. I'm going to put it into that folder. And the same thing with my intro vid. I'm going to put it into that folder. So if I click on that folder and I click on my document, what I'm seeing here is my URL is now, or my link, if you will, is alphanorth.ca contact slash login backslash. And that's where we're going to go to data, docs, and finally wedding.pdf. So Let's just copy this off so we get the first part of it correct. We've done that before as well. We'll put this away, go back to our home page, open up our editor. And now let's select that and go back up to our link. And we've done this before. And this time, it's still an HTTP protocol that we're going to be using, but we'll just paste in the link. And in it comes. Now we know we don't want the back portion of this link. What we do want to now put in is data. That's always the folder name. And then docs. And then wedding.pdf. And we'll go OK. Save that off. Now let's see what happens. We'll just lock it up. And download my brochure. There's my hyperlink. And we click it. And here we go. Do we want to open it with Adobe Acrobat? It is PDF. We could do that, or we could just save the file. Uh, I'll just open it with Adobe Acrobat. So down it comes, and there's Acrobat, and there's my file. All set to go. And of course, that now resides on my computer. You can see it sitting right here on the computer. So that's how we uh, link to files. Just a few caveats on files. Um, Word files or dot .doc or dot .docx um, are, uh, can be linked to and will be downloaded, but uh, they are problematic in that those files can be changed. They're not highly secure. My recommendation is to, if you have Microsoft Word, just convert it into a PDF and then put all your files on your website as PDFs and then you won't have to worry about how they look when they get to the client's uh, machine. They'll look great and you don't have to worry about them changing them because they're locked down and uh, they can't be changed. Okay, now let's go on to video. Video is done in the very same manner as linking to brochures, but there's a few caveats that I want to talk to you about. So let's go back to our login page, and this time the video uh, file that we're taking a look at is called introvid.m4v. Now, um, we will, uh, we've already got this copied, so we know our path is going to be data, video, introvid.m4v. So that's fine. Let's uh, take a look at uh, installing that now. 
So we'll go back to here. We'll open up our editor. Uh, we'll open up our editor again. And I'm going to now say, um, you know what? We'll, we'll link it to this picture. How does that sound? So we'll go to here. That's a picture. And we'll establish a link. And this time it's going to be as before data video intro vid dot uh, m for v and we'll go OK. Now what that means is when I click on this picture it should link to that video. Little different. We usually use text but you can use pictures as well and that's what we're doing in this case. So there's the picture and you can see my handle comes up. Now what have we got here? This is called, and I'm just going to stop that temporarily, this is called uh, a flash player. And uh, it's created in a light box, giving a very sharp effect, which means that you will look at the video and not look at the rest of the website. Uh, you should be aware that this video is sized to uh, 640 by 360 pixels, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you want your videos to show pixel for pixel, um, produce them at 640 by 360. Other size videos will play in here. What may happen is you will get some uh, letterboxing to uh, take up the frame. Um, this frame also enables you to go, we'll just start playing this again, also enables you to go full size, which takes up the whole of the screen for you. I've had an interesting career that and then spans across the technical. Here, and we'll just stop that, talks all about my career. And uh, so those, uh, that's pretty well it. Now all video displays the same way. Uh, we don't give you other options because it's just a nice l consistent look and feel into the website. Going back to the login page for the video, a few things I do want to show you. First of all, on our login page, videos are big. And uh, we can see this particular one is eight megabytes. Be aware that uh, your FTP site on IVS websites is limited to 25 megabytes. So anything larger than that will have to be placed on with an FTP client. Uh, you won't be able to place it on through here. Um, there's, uh, that's not a bad thing. It prevents your website from becoming overloaded. It also makes certain that your videos are probably two minutes and under. Uh, the maximum data rate for your video, I would say, would be 900 kilobytes per second. Uh, don't, don't go any, any higher than that uh, when you're encoding and setting it up. Uh, the two kinds of video that you can display are MP4, uh, which must be hinted for fast streaming. And that's why this one's called an M4V, for those of you who kind of understand that. And also a flash video, uh, .flv, uh, again hinted for internet streaming. Uh, don't exceed 800 megabytes or 1,000 megabytes or uh, kilobytes, excuse me, kbps. Uh, otherwise, you'll start seeing some stuttering in the video and so forth. And that's it. So I'm just going to put that away. We'll go back to here. So just uh, in uh, a review, we've uh, looked at how to do a brochure. And uh, we've established a video. Uh, we did a hyperlink before. Now we've set up an email. So I think you're pretty well set to go. Um, have fun editing your IVS websites. Enjoy yourself. Um, good luck. And I look forward to seeing your creations. Bye for now.